I was curious if it is possible to create 2D pixel art game in Panda 3D, so I did some research. And I came up with this scene. So this is a sprite sheet animation, and this uh, sprite sheet animation was created using a sprite. And we have just a simple geometry, which is a plane, and to this geometry uh, it is applied this texture. I'm going to show you the texture itself. So as you can see, this is this zombie.png. And if I open this up, as you can see, it is a very small image if I zoom in. And it has six frames of animation. So in this episode, we are going to take a look step by step how to create uh, that scene which I showed you earlier. To create the plane geometry, I'm going to use Blender 2.8.3. So here I'm going to select, select everything, so the camera, the cube and the lamp or the point light and just delete everything. Then I'm going to the front orthographic cube, so now we are on the X and the Z plane axis. And here I'm just going to press Shift A and add here a plane and also uh, rotate this plane to, or align this plane to the view. So here you can press on this option and align instead of world to the view. So now the plane is rotated towards the, towards the camera or the view. And yeah, I'm just going to select this plane and of course you have to have uh, the yeah, be egg exporter installed in Blender and if you want to know uh, how to install it just watch the video number or yes episode number 10 from this series. So okay so go to file and export and export it out as a panda 3 dotegg format. And I'm just going to desktop and to the test folder and I'm just going to name it um, plain and 2 by 2 and here in the options uh, everything stays at default. So now let's go to this folder and I'm just going to open this plain 2 by 2 egg in Sublime and now you can see the plane as an egg file. So here are the vertices. This is the first vertex, which is the lower left corner of the of the plane. This is the second vertex, which is the lower right corner of the plane. This is the third vertex, which is the upper right corner of the plane. And this is the fourth vertex, which is the uh, upper left corner of the plane. And uh, as you can see, Blender 2.8 automatically generates UV coordinates for each vertices. So this is the first UV coordinate for the first vertex, this is the second for the second vertex, this is the third UV coordinate, and this is the fourth UV coordinate for the fourth vertex. Okay, so here I'm just going to cut and go back to PyCharm, and here I created a, a folder called Assets. And in this assets folder, I created two more folders. One is the X and one is the images. And into this X folder, I'm just going to right click and paste this plain 2x2.egg file. And because there is already a uh, plain 2x2, I'm going to overwrite it. Okay, so now it is here. So the next step will be actually load this plane then load this uh, zombie.png so which contains this the image with the six subframes and actually make this um, this image a texture of this plane i already created this few lines of code so as usual we're just importing the show base from the direct the show base here also importing the load PRC file data and here just some config variables. In the, in the config variables we are setting the uh, windows width and height to 1280 by 720 and also enabling the show frame rate meter. 
so setting it to 1 so in the upper right corner the FPS would be uh, uh, shown so here and using the load PRC file data I'm loading these config variables here I created a class called myGame which inherits from the show base module and in the init method of the myGame I'm overwriting the super uh, that init so the show basis uh, uh, init or the constructor setting the background color to 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 1 so red green blue and alpha and this creates this dark gray background and also created here uh, an update texture method and added this update te texture method to the task manager so it will be called every frame so 60 times in a second so the next step will be i'm just going to copy here four lines so to load the plane using the self.loader.load model method and in the assets uh, folder x folder and the plane 2x2 two two. and um, you don't have to add the .egg extension then i'm loading the texture using the self.loader.load texture from the assets fo folder images folder and the zombie.png here on line 19 i'm applying to the plane using the set texture set texture method the texture and also representing the plane to the renderer so now if i run it and if i move the camera back uh, with the right mouse button now uh, the image is squashed to this plane so we have a few more steps the first step would be to actually edit these these i'm also opened up sublime text uh, and this plain 2x2 two two egg and i have to do this inside sublime text because uh, since i upgraded pycharm i cannot open egg files in pycharm so I, if i want to edit egg files i have to use sublime okay so go back to sublime so here is the plane 2x2 two two. and to actually uh, show only one frame so not not uh, not uh, the sixth frame only one from this we have to edit the uv coordinates so the first vertex and the first uv is okay but but the second vertex should be here not one for the u or the x but it should be one over six so zero point one six 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 repeating i'm just going to copy this Control c and replace this one for the second vertex with zero point six 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 and uh, for the third vertex which is here we should also change the u or the x for the uv coordinates to 0 0.66666 and uh, the fourth vertex stays as it is so why it is 1 over 6 or 0 0.16666 it is because we if i open the zombie we have six frames so you always have to divide one by the number of frames that's why we are giving it one zero point point one six 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 repeating and now if i run it and oops uh, probably i i just didn't save it okay i'm just going to save it go back to pie charm and now if i run it and move back the camera now as you can see only one frame is shown the next step will be uh, you see that first of all there is this black um, black rectangle or black square this uh, we are, can get rid of of this square uh, with setting the transparency and the uh, next thing is uh, as you can see the image is totally blurred 
So it applies some kind of a, uh, anti-aliasing or some something like that, and that's why it is uh, so blurred. So I'm just going to copy few more lines here. So the first line we need is actually import from Panda 3D Core, the texture stage, also the sampler state, and also the transparency attribute. The next thing will be to actually set the texture that set mag magnifying filter, sampler state dot ft underscore nearest. And one more thing is missing. If I run it now, it is better. It is not blurry, but we still need one one uh, step because I'm just going to show you. So here in the conf config words, I'm just going to paste this option. So textures dash power dash two, set it to zero or false. And now if I run it and move back the camera now, as you can see, we have a totally clear pixel art. So get rid of this black rectangle. So we can do this by setting on the plane. So using the set transparency to transparency attrib uh, dot m alpha. And now if I run it and move back the camera, now that black square uh, is is uh, not visible anymore. And as you can see now we have a cl clear uh, pixel pixelated pixel art. So the next step will be to actually loop over the frames and make the uh, animation. So I'm just going to create three member variables. One is the self.tx or the texture x and it will start at zero. And one is the self.tx underscore offset, so the texture offset, which is one over six. So remember, uh, we have six uh, frames in this animation, that's why it is one over six. And also the self.texture underscore update variable. And now we can move to the update texture. The first step in the update texture will be always set on the plane using the set texture offset. And the set texture offset needs as a first argument the text texture stage. You can get the default texture texture stage using the texture stage that get default method. And um, the second and the third argument is the for the texture offset is the new u and the v coordinates or the x and the y coordinates. So here I'm just adding self.tx. We are only going to move horizontally on the x or on the u coordinate. We are not going to move it, uh, I mean the texture coordinates, we are not going to move it uh, vertically. So that's why the v or the y is uh, uh, set to zero. So, and the last step will be, I'm just going to copy it here, or paste it here, rather, these four lines. So, in every frame, I'm just going to update the texture update uh, variable, so it starts zero, and it will be incremented by one in every frame. And if the texture underscore update is bigger than six, uh, then we are going to increment the tx, which starts at zero, using the texture offset, so which is one over six. And then resetting the texture update to zero. Uh, this is needed, otherwise it will, uh, the animation will loop pretty fast. So I'm going to show you how it looks now. So we have created a very uh, simple, not not that simple, but uh, it, it 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 works. Uh, yes, Panda is mainly 
created for 3D games, not for 2D, but that doesn't mean you cannot create 2D games in it. And I'm just going to show you if I comment out here everything, and I'm just going to increment the texture offset here. Now we have this pretty fast animation, so that's why that's why we need here this if self the texture update, update is bigger than six, so it will always update when when uh, after every six frames will uh, will be updated the texture coordinate. So there is actually one more way to create uh, sprite animations using something called texture cards and uh, that I'm going to show you that in the next episode.